welcome back to my channel. So today it's going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. It is perfect for every day. It's my go-to fall glam look. The main focus is on flawless skin, but you can add any kind of lip color you want. I decided to go with a dark red because I love wearing darker colors for fall. I have teamed up with Smashbox for this video, which I was super excited about. I really hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. I tried to use a lot of drugstore and affordable products, and then I'm also showing you the new Smashbox BB water, which is amazing. I'll link everything down below in the description bar. I really hope you enjoy and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. Since this look focuses on the skin we're going to be starting here. I'm using the Smashbox BB water in the shade light medium with my beauty blender. It's actually infused with primer water so you don't have to prime the skin. So you just want to start by shaking it up and then putting it on any brush or sponge or you can even use your fingers. The formula is so light and silky it literally becomes one with your skin. Skin. I also like that it's oil free, but it's still hydrating so any skin type will be able to wear it And I also like how it's an all-in-one product because it primes it protects it has SPF 30 and it doesn't dry out the skin or look cakey It has a demi matte finish So you have a little bit of glow to the skin and it has a buildable coverage That's great for everyday use also Smashbox is hosting a giveaway that I'll link down in the description bar If you're interested in winning a bottle of BB water for yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows and then move on to highlighting the face with concealer. I'm just going to go underneath the eyes, the bridge of the nose, right in the center of the forehead and on my chin. And this is just going to bring light to the center of the face and make our skin look even more flawless. I'm also gonna bring some of the concealer on my eyelids to serve as an eyelid base. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and it's really good about not creasing, so it's perfect for this. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of setting powder to set the concealer underneath my eyes and also anywhere I tend to get a little bit oily throughout the day. This is just going to help set everything to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere and that it lasts a little bit longer. Now I'm taking the Smashbox Shape Matters palette and I'm going to take the lightest contour shade just to contour my eyes a little bit. I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush back and forth in the crease just to add a little bit of natural definition. And this is the only thing I'm going to be doing to the eyes that literally only takes a few seconds just to add a little bit more depth to the eye look. And then I'm going to move on to mascara. And you can leave it at mascara if you want if you're in a rush or you don't like to wear false lashes. But I'm going to be doing false lashes for this look. So I'm taking the lower lashes in the city and I'm just going to apply these for, you know, that little extra oomph. So I'm going to go back to that light contour shade I used on the eyelid and I'm going to apply this on the lower lash line with a pencil brush, just smudging and smoking out that lower lash line a little bit. I love this color because it's a taupey light brown and it just gives you that really kind of effortless look. And then next I'm going to be taking this darker brown eyeshadow in the palette and an angled brush and I'm just going to apply this really close to the lash line for a little bit more definition and it makes your eyes look a little bit bigger, a little bit more awake. So now I'm going to contour the face a little bit. I don't want too much going on in the skin. I still want it very natural. I'm taking that light contour shade. Once again, I'm using that all over the face today. And that's one thing you can always do. You can always use a contour or any kind of bronzers for eyeshadows. I mean, there are no rules in makeup. You can use it for whatever you want, but I'm just going to contour the face a little bit, hollows of the cheeks, sides of the temples, and then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and contour the sides of my nose a little bit. I love this contour shade. It's the perfect color. It reminds me of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer a lot. It's so, so beautiful and so natural looking on the skin. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the warmer contour shade and go right above where I contoured just to add a little bit more color and a little bit more dimension. Next, I'm gonna be taking Milani Rose Oro, my favorite fall blush, and just applying a little bit of that right on the cheeks just for a little fall flush. And then to highlight my cheekbones, I'm gonna be taking Parasol Highlighter from ColourPop, applying this right on the high points of the cheeks and also on the bridge of the nose. It just helps tie in with the BB water we use because the BB water is dewy and fresh and this just ties everything in together. 
Then I'm gonna apply mascara on the lower lashes. I always like to do this after my face makeup is done. And now we can move on to the lip color. I'm gonna be doing a dark red lip color today. First, I'm gonna take this Jordana lip liner. I forgot the name, but I'll link it down below in the description bar. It's just a deep red. And then for the lip color, I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Cherry Skies, which is a dark red, perfect for holiday seasons. And then the look is complete. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments what kind of look you want to see next. And don't forget to check the description bar for everything that I used. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah.